Welcome to Fogtown, where over 60% of the population is Filipino. Can you confirm that the restaurant incident is the work of the so-called taquito man? What? This is the taquito everyone is talking about. It's not a taquito. It's lumpia, the Filipino egg roll. It's a long time waiting, I mean, a, a long time coming for uh, our premiere. So yeah, no, I feel excited. It's, it's, uh, maybe I'm just trying to hold it back. <laughs> the motives of the lumpia man are still unknown. I mean, it, it was it was the supporters or backers that that made it happen, right? I mean, like, I mean, it was eight years now ago that we crowdfunded uh, the film, and like we greenlit that. Like, it feels like it feels not so long ago, but yeah, like, and it's because of our backers that we were able to even complete the movie and finish it. Yeah, it took eight years, but you know now the movie's completed. I, I think I think the the thing is important. We wanted to make sure that we didn't just finish the movie for the sake of finishing it. We wanted to make sure we made it a movie that made our backers like proud, you know, that that, that was worthy of, of the support that they gave us. Now did you try to make sure that it hard to the adult film or did they it more was there Well definitely we wanted to capture the, the kind of homemade spirit of the original film without making the movie actually homemade. Um, and, and I think what, what's, like if you were a fan of the first movie, yes, of course, there are Easter eggs there and things and, and characters that are coming back for this new film. But the reason why, you know, for them it would be called Lumpia 2, a sequel. But for us, Lumpia the Vengeance could be a standalone film. It could be a reboot. And, it's, and, and it already has Mark Munoz, Danny Trejo is in it. So of, of course it's bigger, badder, and it's more delicious. <laughs> So Mark Munoz, I mean, if you've seen his last uh, fight in the Octagon in Manila, uh, when he did that speech, I remember watching it and saying, wow, you know, this, this guy, he, he's, he's cool. He, he embodies all the elements I would see in a superhero. And immediately I saw Kuya uh, when I saw Mark Munoz speak. And I, and I you know, uh, reached out to him. He, the guy, he supports, he, in the community, when he promotes his fights, he's always out in the festivals. And so we met him and, you know, we got to know him and, and his sister and his team, Team Munoz. Uh, and I approached him, like now that he retired from UFC, what was his next plan? He, 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 he loved what we were doing. We both, uh, we, both, um, uh, we both bonded on the fact that we were both bullied as kids, you know? And so uh, he came on and he, he became our new Kuya. My henchmen are trained to be 100% efficient. And with Danny Trejo, it, it's just a perfect example of people you know, in this industry, you have to get used to rejection, people saying no, right? But Danny Trejo saying yes is an example of like, just there's people out there who will believe in your project and his team read the script and he immediately, uh, you know, worked out a plan and, and, and he showed up on set and, and he played uh, our character. And, that, and that's a testament to our producers and stuff who, you know, it, it, it's not about who you know, but also the luck of people just saying yes. And they saw, and he saw that passion infused and they saw our, our, our timeline and like how we were crowdfunded and saw the community backing us up. So, you know, you never know who's gonna say yeah. Well, aside from reading the script that was great, I mean, they, you can Google us and they, the whole team saw what we were about. Uh, saw we were crowdfunded, uh, saw that uh, there was an overwhelming support of just, I mean, if you just Google, you'll see like, that's kind of a lot of, a lot of the, the, the press that was made about just even, not even about Lumpia, but just the kind of project that we created. And he believed in that. Yes, we're having a Los Angeles premiere, and, and, and the good thing is what we've done uh, with all our film festival debuts, we do these uh, uh, variant comic books uh, uh, premiere. And this one is by our local legend, Wilsh Patacio. So for LA, uh, you know, uh, anyone can get this right now, the, the Hol Holofall print edition, which is so cool. But anyone who, who, got, who got lucky enough to get the ticket to the actual LA premiere will get a free digital copy of this. So, so this is cool. I, I, again, this comic book is just another testament to the community crowdfunding. This was also crowdfunded. Uh, and we just actually, this is issue two actually, we're giving away. Issue three just got crowdfunded last night. Each film festival, we have a, a special variant. Uh, it's the same issue, but like this one is a, a wraparound by him. So, so this, is, this is a cool one that, that, that Wills did. Again, this, this is just a, a, an example, just all the love and support that we've been getting um, from even people that we admire, you know? And so you look at even the inside, the interior, we had 
Our producer's an artist also, so he drew it. We had our stunt uh, assistant, stunt coordinator, actually is also an artist. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we had producers writing it, so it's, it's crazy. It's like the same pe people involved in making the movie, also involved in making this crazy comic book. So, and it makes sense. Movie with a Vengeance is also a fun comic book film. I mean, hopefully get picked up for a wider uh, distribution, and that's the whole point of the film festival circuit, right? To prove that there's an audience out there, and hopefully, um, you know, hopefully, you know, and, and the, this screening sold out, so hopefully it gives people a chance that, hey, there's other, like there is an audience out there that's willing, that's out there, that's waiting to buy more tickets. <laughs> to film. Through your mama's way. Fight the bully! You're all wrong! It's all because it's damn looking man. Oh boy!